Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. This is the Hot Wheels Collector back with another video. So, in today's video we have got the Aston Martin Vantage GTE. This is a great one from the cute case. I can actually remember what case this one's from because I was actually collecting when this one rolled out. So yeah, this is a phenomenal one. So let's begin from the side view. As you can see, there isn't a whole lot going on, but there is a vent on the side, which is a tampo, as well as a stripe, which is black. That's also a tampo near the bottom, near the plastic piece. This car's also using black rims, which are 10 spokes again. These are quite popular in these cars that I'm doing right now. As I'm recording, I've done three or two previously. This is the third one. Uh, with these black wheels, exactly the same. So here's the front of the car. As you can see, there is some lovely detailing. We have got front lights as well as a badge. And we've also got tampos on the hood, which go around the vents, which are made out of plastic. And there's also two other vents, which are tampoed on. Those two vents right there, hopefully you can see the back vents, the black ones. There's also a stripe, which goes right down the middle of the hood. And connects to the badge. This side's the same with the tampo work being phenomenal. And the rear is untampoed sadly. It also has got this humongous spoiler on the back. This is massive. It's one of those race inspired spoilers. Now if I come back to the side you can properly see that lovely structure on it. It's made out of metal and it looks phenomenal. Here is the top view of the car. Looks very nice from the top. I will give it that. Definitely looks phenomenal. And there is actually a roll cage in there, as you can probably see, that cross hatch type thing in the back. This car is, of course, green, as you can probably observe. And you can just about see the interior. The glare, the glare is back to haunt us another day. Anyways, there's not a whole lot to this car, but it does look phenomenal. I actually really like this car. So what do I rate it out of 10? What is my thoughts and opinions? Well, I am going to rate this car out of 10. A solid, and I'm going to have to think about this one. 8 out of 10. I was going to say 7, but I'm going to put it up to an 8. Because I do think this thing looks phenomenal from the front and the sides. It's just the rear and it missing those rear lights that I just cannot give it a 9 or a 10. If it had those, I'd be absolutely over the moon. But of course, this is a basic mainline car. I can't complain. This car looks great. And if you don't have it, I would recommend that you get this. Um, I'd imagine they're going to recolor it in the future. If they don't, I'll be surprised. Um... But this colour is great and the green, I think the green just tops it off for me. If it wasn't in the green, it'd probably be a 7, perhaps even a 6. But this green is very nice. The lime green, it suits exotic cars because it's really like, look at me, I stand out. And it really, I mean, you can't complain. It's an exotic car. It should definitely stand out. Anyways, guys, hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you are new to the channel, make sure to subscribe. If you enjoyed the video, like. And if you still share videos to friends, family, etc., make sure you go ahead and do that. Anyways, I thank you for watching all the way to the end of this video. If you have done that, well, if you're listening to this, the chances are you have. I don't think many people skip to the end, but maybe you do just to hear my verdict, which is fine. You can do that. It's absolutely fine. I just appreciate you being here. That means so much to me. Anyway, guys, it has been the Hot Wheels Collector uh, with another video. I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye, everyone.